Hello and welcome. My name is Seshu and I'm part of DVCom support and training team. In this video, I'm going to show it to you how to register Ailing T33Z with ESTAR PABX. In my previous video, I have shown to you how to register T33Z through auto provision, but now I'm going to show it to you manually. So this is very important guys. Most of the people they are finding challenges and you can see this video and you really enjoy it and you can come to know how you are going to register manually and before i'm going to start my laptop policy let's go and have a look exactly how i connected and in my lab we have a star s20 pabx which is configured as 192.168.5.150 with the slash 24 subnet and i have a dretec poe switch which is connected with t33z Already I have registered 1000 and 1002 and now I am going to register with 201 extension manually. And by the way, the T33 is going to support up to 4 lines guys so that you can configure 4 different extensions. Let's go and do that. So first of all I am going to access my PABX. Let's go and do that. Open my browser and the IP address is 5.150 and the default username is admin and default password is password. There you go. Click OK now. Now you can go to the settings and click on the extension. And you can see here 201 extension. I am planning to register with my T33Z phone. Let's go and have a look. So basically you just click on ellipse and click on auto provision. And you can see here you can find it out the IP address. And by default as I told you 1000 and 1002 extension is already registered with T33Z. Uh, right now I am going to register 201 as well. Let's click on this. It's going to redirecting directly with the browser and the default username is admin and default password is admin. Then you can click login. So to register manually just go to the account. Then after that you can see here account number 2 is registered with 1002 and account number 3 is not registered yet. So you can see here line active you can just make it as a enable and label you can just give any label but i just want to give 201 display name 201 registration name 201 and username is 201 and you need to get the password where is the password for that you just close here and click on the settings and click on the extensions and click on 201 here and you can see here there is a registration password so just click on this and double click on this and control plus c copy then after that you just go back here and paste it here. Then after that what's your server host? The server is 192.168.5.150. That's it. Just go here and type the IP. 192.168.5.150 and it's going to use port number 5060 and it's a UDP port. In case if you change the port number or if you change the protocol you can do according to that. Say confirm. Now you can see here, nice registration button will show it to you here. See here, it's successfully registered. That's what how you are going to register. So right now I have registered three different extensions. The first one is 1000, second one is 1002 and third one is 201. So in case if you want to register fourth extension, just you can create an extension in your PABX and you can register it. And if you want to see the status of that, just click on this ellipse and go to the PBX monitor and you can see here 201 is also registered with the same form which is 5.200. I hope you guys are able to understand what I'm trying to expand here. Just say log out now and open my presentation. I hope this has been informative and I would like to thank you for viewing. For sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com. For support, please send us an email support at datawise.com. Thank you.